How are you doing? Yes, just a quick one. This question has been coming often to us from prospective students, especially those that are interested in studying in Sweden. In Sweden, if you want to study in Sweden and you are admitted as an international student, you are to pay tuition if you don't get scholarship. Now, the question is, I've been admitted, I've paid the first instrument, and um, I'm hoping that I will get a job after arriving in Sweden and pay for the rest of my tuition. That is just a question. Will that be possible? Now, this is a very critical question. Will I be able to get a job to set off or to pay off my tuition after arriving? I will say that you should not bank on the job you will get in Sweden to make your decision, all right? Um, I'm gonna give you five reasons why you should have at least the first year tuition before you make your decision to travel to Sweden, for example. Before I give you these five reasons why you have to prepare at least first year tuition before you make your decision. You know, for example, in your country, if you are relocating from one city to the other city, you still have to prepare yourself within your country. Talk less of you relocating to another continent. If you are from Africa, you want to relocate to Sweden, you want to study in Sweden, you have crossed borders. Therefore, I will encourage you to prepare yourself ahead at least for the first one year. For the first one year. So let me give you five reasons why you should at least have first year tuition before you make your decision. Number one reason is if you don't have this uh, tuition, you don't have your tuition at hand, you are basing it on the fact that you will get a job and pay off your tuition, you will lose concentration. Okay, that's the first thing. You won't be able to focus on your studies and that will affect you. Number two is you are risking failing courses. You know, you continue to fail courses because the focus has been to get a job, to get something doing, and you couldn't fulfill, you couldn't concentrate on your studies. And don't forget, in Sweden, uh, you write exams every two, two months. Unlike where most of you are coming from, maybe you are coming from Africa or wherever you're coming from, every two, two months. In fact, one and a half months, you are writing a promotion exam. All right, so you have you need full concentration. Another thing, number three, you might be delisted from the program that you were admitted to. You might be delisted because if you are unable to pay your tuition and you are failing courses, the school might just delist you from being a student. All right, so that's number three point that you need to be aware of, and this particular one is also critical you might not be able to renew your permit okay don't forget that if uh, the first year you came uh, you were only given a permit that lasts for one year every year you have to renew your permit your student permit and uh, one of the requirements for you to be able to renew your student permit is to have been able to get some credits at least pass some courses so if you're unable to pass your courses because your focus was on job to get something then you will not you might not be able to renew your permits uh, and lastly you might be frustrated frustration will definitely come okay so this is just a piece of advice what i'm trying to say is i know it's not that easy to get this fund but instead of you being frustrated i think it's better you plan yourself get the first year tuition before you make your decision okay for example if you are in nigeria for example or wherever in ghana if you are moving from one city to another city you need to prepare yourself you don't expect to some everything to come to you automatically so what i'm saying is prepare yourself at least for one year and if the job comes within two months of arrival then that will be an extra. 
you don't bank on the job that you will get within the first, uh, first, first year of your arrival. So get that right. In case you have a question, you want uh, a consultation with EduCarrier Network, we're always there to network you, to inform you, to connect you. Have a fantastic week.